G'day everyone, welcome back to Planet Coaster 2, I hope you're doing really well. It's uh, just after the first free update and uh, a fair bit of controversy around that one with the DLC landing at the same time. I know you've got some strong opinions on it, I do too, but I just want to focus on what we can do with what's available to us. So there's plenty of cool creators out there um, covering all the updates and uh, yeah, I uh, don't disagree with most of the feedback, but let's get into... Um, what's going on here and this is our rotational devices that are going around and around um, and if you're like me we have a moving platform that is set to slow but it's just not slow enough for a lot of the things we'd like to do in this game um, the ultimate of course would be able to set an exact speed but we haven't got that um, and prior to the update you could set down a moving platform and then attach another one and set it to slow and then slow reverse and the two would slightly counter each other out but there was a just enough variance in there to create a very micro uh, movement um, however post update that's now not possible because the slow reverse and slow animation are equally timed and they cancel each other out so that was frustrating for many of us who are looking to create sort of cool different variances. Um, so I come up with some different combinations to, to basically get a speed that's going to really do whatever we want. Um, and so this is the slowest I've been able to get so far. And um, you can see here in my little example, green is uh, barely moving, whereas yellow is going around quite fast. And that's actually our slow setting. So how's it done? Um, Basically, there's the stacked approach that's still happening here. We've got the multiple platforms built on top of each other. And the hierarchy is set like so. Uh, the order doesn't really matter, but this is what I've decided to go with. So slow is our default, just one single platform going around and around. Next we have uh, the blue, I think it's the next, next slow. Was it? No, it's red. Red is slower next. Blue's faster than red. Yeah, so then it's medium, a slow, and a slow. Uh, and then, then we've got our blue, which is a fast, medium, reverse, medium, reverse. And um, yeah, you can see the differences in the rotational speeds and slows. Not that slow at all. <laughs> uh, so that's the stack rotational approach. So how do we do it? Uh, you've got your standard movement here. And again, just to prove the point, medium and fast is really fast. Uh, and slow is not slow enough. And while we don't have much control in this, uh, we can obviously stack uh, uh, moving platforms um, to get a consistent rotation. Now, it's super important, obviously, that they are aligned perfectly in the same axis so we don't get any wobbles. And the way we create something like this is to use a piece, and we can just plop that down anywhere we like. And if I just pause for this, uh, make sure you've got snap to position on and the rest should be fine on uh, we don't want snap distance on and we don't need to worry about angle snap but when we come here and click attached you'll find as you move it around it'll pop into position and you can place it down and don't worry about the offset now because we're going to reset all that in a sec and we'll just do that a couple times and for that really slow animation we need five of these five stacked on top of each other and what if you come out of the editing mode you're going to find selecting these and trying to pick it and get the right one at the right time and you got to undo and get in is quite fiddly and annoying so what i like to do is just come right out i'm hitting escape select the stack and um i'm going to go set that to fast reverse and that's setting the base one here now to get to the next layer, I can try and double click in here and pick the right one, but I get so frustrated with that because I keep mi missing. Come to this tab, Advanced Settings, Attach Scenery, and it will jump into that layer. And then all I have to do is just click, and I won't be selecting the bottom one. I'll just only be selecting the next layer up, and I can set that to Medium uh, Reverse. And then I can do that again, Attach Scenery, click, and then I'm going to go Slow Reverse and then uh, do it again. So it's just a few more clicks, but at least you've got the control that you would like. Uh, so touch scenery, click again, slow reverse. And now I should have, um, actually I need to make that fast, not fast reverse, because that's gonna counter the four other ones that are going in reverse. 
to create a very slow counterclockwise. So let's unpause that. And there it is up the top here, moving very slowly, very nicely. And what we can do is use our same trick for selecting and just, uh, I mean, you can try and double click in here. Sometimes it works. Um, I like to then put my snap distance on, drop it down to, let's say, 2.5, and we'll just pop it down. And in we go a bit more. Drop that down. It's just easier. It's just so much easier using that advanced thing. And then I will leave the top one up because it just gives me a little bit more control when I want to place and stick items to that platform. Um, so if I come back into my scenery, we'll just grab the pole, the one I prepared earlier, and turn the snap off. Come back, where am I? Uh, and now with snap to position off, but align to position on, and if I pause this, uh, we can align it. So it's going to look wonky until we click. Now it'll stick, and we can set her up just as we want. And what we should have is the opposite of this one. Let's see how it goes. Yep. And so we can move this right next to each other. And because this is a counter to that one, if I attach it to here, it should stop. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it's really stuck. That's what we want. So there we've got a counterclockwise and a clockwise slow motion. And um, from here, we can do a whole lot of things because uh, you can stack a motion on top of a motion. So what I've done over here somewhere, where is it? Uh, here she is. Okay. Um, I've got slow, and then I've got a slow on top of a slow, and a slow on top of that one, and that one. And then you get this nice variety of rotation. So it gets progressively faster. And if I took this whole piece, uh, and let's just duplicate it. And if I move, I think I can grab it and move it. Hmm. Oh, I need to put, uh, I think I need to put, add to building on. Oh, here we go. Now I can do it. Okay, attach very roughly. Snap to position, make sure I get it on there right and turn these off. Gee, it's a bit fiddly, isn't it? Should have paused. Um, yeah, there we go. You get the idea. Uh, and it's going faster, progressively slower. And so the reason I've set these up like this is just to give you the visual here of what you can achieve in terms of a variety of rotational speeds. Isn't that nice? Um, yeah, it gives you a lot of control that we didn't have between slow and really slow. And I think even this speed here is slower than our slow. So that yellow one, let's have a look. We'll move this guy here, have a look. Yeah, even slow is going slower than that variant. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight different steps of variation and speed from slow to very slow, um, which gives us a heap of control. Uh, and obviously, this is all stacked on top of each other, but what you would do is basically collapse it into itself or hide it under the ground completely and stop at the level of rotation that you want. So hopefully that's useful. I think, uh, yeah, it opens up a lot of possibilities. And the fact that we've got uh, clockwise and counterclockwise with this method uh, opens some doors. Yeah. Um, of course, you might be wondering, well, why is it all wonky here? Because I've sort of just slapped it on. But again, if you wanted to um, be really careful with your placement uh, with the stacking, you can just do that one by one uh, in, in a continuous way. So, yeah. Now, uh, probably one last thing to talk about here. We've got these uh, symmetries on. Whoops, let me undo that. And so, uh, yeah, if I do an advanced move and you, you put this on and turn the rotational symmetry on for a count of 12 or whatever, um, that's how I'm getting that sort of cog effect. And um, yeah, it's really cool. And if you think about some of the new enhancements with the game, like um, fireworks and whatnot, we just go into our FX here. And yeah, maybe we'll put some fireworks on here. And we click to attach and then hit our cog. And you can also do some really interesting firework effects. So 
let's go to rotational. Yeah, um, you can imagine what you could do with this, right? So some pretty awesome fireworks displays, I'm sure. Um, and then once we come out of that, we want to trigger it or play it every five seconds. You get the idea. So yeah, I'll leave us on that note. Let's see how that looks. Off they go. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I hope you're enjoying the game. Um, hopefully the frustrations aren't getting too bothersome. But yeah, there's still so much to explore and I'm really enjoying it. So I hope you are too. See you next time. Cheers.